Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my digital art process. Now this video is coming from a beginner when it comes to digital art, so um, I will leave some links for, you know, if you're looking for a more advanced kind of tutorial, but this is just my methods on how I get around using Pixar Color as a total beginner. I find digital art to be really fun, but of course it can be hard at first. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into today's tutorial. So usually I would um, do, you know, start from the ground up, do a sketch, then line art it and all that. But for the purpose of today's video, I just imported a sketch that I had done in my sketchbook into my program. So the first thing that I go ahead and do is add a new layer and then do my line art. There really isn't much to say about line art. It's really annoying. We all know. We all hate it. Um, so. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but now I'll go ahead and add a new layer to start the coloring. So I usually start off with the nose, and although the nose looks super easy, it's probably the hardest. So what I go ahead and do is, with my black brush, kind of like a blue ball, black ball, that's what I usually do, and then on top of it, I add some white, you know, scribbles for highlight, and then using my blending tool, I'll go ahead and smudge it all. Now, the problem I have here is that it can be super, super, super hard to keep all, everything that's smudged in the nose. So, it usually goes the eyes, smudges the line art. It's really annoying, and that's why using um, more layers is really going to help you out. So, I usually have one layer just for the nose so that I can erase and it won't erase the actual line art, the eye, or anything like that. Moving on to the eye, today I did try to do a different type of eye, but I decided to just do my normal type of eye. I deleted that. Um, and basically what I do is I, for coloring the eye at least, I will add a black color block, then a dark gray, a lighter gray, and at the fair part I'm just a sliver of white, and then I'll smudge it using my smudging tool. Again, you're going to be careful with this, adding a bunch of different layers for the eye because just like it can happen with the nose, it can also happen with the eye when it comes with ruining the whole drawing. Then I add the highlights um, for what I've done so far. My eye highlights are really simple, just a square and a bunch of dots to make it look kind of dreamy. Moving on to the eyebrows, I just call them all black just to make life a bit easier. And then I go ahead and move on to the hair. Now, when it comes to the hair, I will make convention confession my method changes from different hairstyles so for the hairstyle today um what i went ahead and did was i just colored a bit of black where i felt like the um the light wasn't hitting and i smudged that and there's a lot of highlights for it so not my usual type of hair but you know um and then i added some necessary highlights that made the whole drawing pop Moving on to the shirt, um, today I decided just to do a turtleneck because honestly, I was just feeling it. Turtlenecks are really simple um, and I just added some shading here and there. So then I added some blush, which is just a bunch of scribbles and then using the smudging tool. Now, when I feel like I've done most of the critical stuff, I'll go ahead and add a background. Um, I always add backgrounds on my drawings and I will leave a little the corner how to actually do um, or add a background so now at this point i'll fix whatever i think does not look good i delete my sketch layer and i really build the drawing up at this point and construct it i will have to go back to my um sketch quite a bit because i want to make sure i'm getting everything right but it's really um important that you don't leave this to the very end to move to remove the sketch because when you do that you won't notice for example how plain it looks and you really have to build it up and leaving it to the end is not going to do you any good so that's one of the biggest tips and biggest mistakes i made at this point i go ahead and add, as i already said build up so i go to the turtleneck and you're gonna see in a bit that i did you know add a design for the turtleneck so let's leave that for now um i did decide to redo the eye i wasn't very happy with it i added some more highlights i like to add highlights on like the eyelid and now moving on the turtleneck back to it, um, I decided to go with this design. Something you want to keep in mind is sometimes when your drawing looks really plain, you can't just focus on the face. Look at the hair. Does it look full? Look at what she's wearing. And for me personally, one of the, one of the main things why it looked plain was because of her turtleneck. 
there really was no design to it. So I added this really simple design that I know is like so common, <laughs> um, but just that little design really boosted the drawing up and it made it look so much less um, gross. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to explain it. Usually I would add a bit more a bit more of a complicated design, but I decided to go with something simple for today's tutorial. I also decided to put these little circles under her eyes and freckles. Oh my god, I was about to say freckles. <laughs> freckles. Um, I don't know why I did both of them. That circle is something new for me, but I decided to do it because why not? And now I'm just adding more shading for the nose, um, for the top, like under the hair, for the the neck for above like i am terrible at explaining this okay <laughs> and then i added some more highlights now to finish the drawing off a bit we're getting really close to the end i added a really thick border of black of course adding a new layer um a really thick border of black around the actual girl and this was just gonna help it a tiny bit i felt like it was I don't know, it just needed that little oomph. <laughs> and then with white, I kind of added another border, except a border of lines. I don't know, I just felt like it was kind of plain. And this definitely helped it out a bit. And I added highlights for the actual border. Then using one of... Pixar Color has a bunch of different cool um, brushes, and one of them is actually a leaf brush. So I decided to add a bunch of leaves in the background, and that really helped it out. And then lastly, I just added some little like triangles um, for the, again, for the border. And the absolutely last thing that I went ahead and did was just those finishing touches. Fixing the border, fixing the lips, removing some, you know, black dots that I had in the background. The eye kind of got ruined, so I had to fix that. And just really simple stuff um, because I was ready for this drawing to be over. And of course, the lips, as I already mentioned, fixing them. Today was not a good lip day. I will give you that. <laughs> um, but once I fixed the lips, it was basically over. I was really happy with how it turned out. It's not my favorite drawing, digital drawing, but um, I think it was pretty good for this tutorial. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 1,500 subscribers. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for subscribing, watching this video. Um, and leave a comment on any video suggestions because I definitely need some video suggestions. But yeah, thanks again everyone for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.